Hey, buddy. I got a new toy. You want to see it? Look. Look at this, dude. Isn't this fantastic? It's a Kalashnikov and ready or not. Look at that. The bullet splatter does look good. And you actually have time to appreciate it. He doesn't. He is dead. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we've got another great video for you. I'm going to be going over four mods that I found in Ready or Not. I really just took the time while I was on stream the other night to go through the entire list of all the mods. Well, at least the ones that were trending. I feel like there's more mods out there just based on how almost few I was seeing. Or maybe there's just not a lot of mods in Ready or Not. I really don't know. I might have been looking in the wrong place. But I just wanted to go over these four mods that I found. I, I think these are all great in their own right. They don't really change the game at all. It's just kind of cosmetics, except for one. If you've been enjoying these little commentary videos, please consider dropping a like, possibly subscribing. But without further ado, let's get on to the video. The first weapon that I'm going to be talking about today is the Kalashnikov mod. So this one replaces the SLR-47. The only downside to this mod, in my opinion, is that the same attachments from the SLR-47 are the only ones that you can use on this mod, and because it's a full-size AK, the smaller, more close-range oriented uh, optics and attachments, other than of course the laser and flash, they just don't really seem like they translate as well to me, at least as far as the sights go. Of course, you can't really tell that much of a difference with an angle grip or a foregrip. I wish that I could have had a full hollow sight on there, you know, or at least like a normal iron sights. Like the iron sights were decent, but definitely not the best because of the rail rays in the middle uh, for the optic. So if there's a way to remove that or... But I did enjoy this one. I thought it was nice. You know, it sounds like an AK, looks like an AK. It's just a cool, cool mod. Going on to the next one, we're going to be looking at the Spear MCX mod. So this one is a mod for the GA416. Again, same deal as the other mod where you're using the same attachments for the gun, but in this case, it actually matches up because the GA416 is roughly in the same family as at least what the Spear MCX is. So this is, for those of you who don't know, this is the rifle that the army is supposed to be making their standard issue rifle. So interesting that somebody made a mod to bring that one into the game all right and the next mod that we're going to be talking about is going to be the p90 pink paint job mod and this one this one was really just for fun this was just to mix it up a little bit the p90 is already in the game but it's just a little like it's just a little paint job for it you know it's something to change up the cosmetics and just kind of add to the add to the game a little bit it doesn't of course add to realism but it does add to just i mean having a good time there's nothing more satisfying than ripping apart some bad guys with a pink P9. And before we get to the last mod, I do want to also mention that I had the Visceral Blood mod on for this entire session. So if you notice how the blood looks a little bit different in some parts, that's the mod that I've been using for that. It was supposed to just add like some extra gore to the game, but I really didn't notice too much other than a couple of times when there was a wall within i guess reaching distance of the enemy in front of it but the last mod that i want to talk about is going to be the oil can suppressor mod and this is for pistols so it again doesn't really add too much to the game it was just kind of one of those where i saw it downloaded it and it's you know it's cool but i mean you can't see anything obviously you don't have the iron sights you don't have a, a suppressor high uh, rmr sight if they were if you were able to add like a suppressor raise to the site then maybe it might actually be usable in game but until like until they have that it's really just something where you can mess around with it it's worth it in the canted view i could personally see some like let's plays with pvp mod and this coming out doing like oil can suppressors versus everybody uh you know or something like that but it, again it doesn't really add to the realism if anything it's a it's a difficulty mod you know you can't see where you're aiming at least exactly that's all i've got to say i really just wanted to come on here and talk about this a little bit of course i do have some more gameplay that i'm going to let run and just show off a little bit more of these weapons that we've been discussing today but if you guys have any suggestions for any maps that i should check out or any other mods please feel free to drop a comment below i appreciate you guys watching today and i hope you enjoy the rest of the video i'll see you in the next one peace
can walk on that ledge. Gonna secure this guy. Phone calls. Just text your lawyer. Oh man. Don't touch my parents. I hear one. I hear one more. Entry team to talk. Suspect in custody. Ready for transport. Talk to high ground. Holy shit. Holy shit. Entry team to talk. Contact down. Suspect ready to go. Got him. So he's not dead. Thank God. I didn't think I'd pop him out. Holy shit. Where I can All see right. him. Yeah, it's a civilian. Get, Get the fuck down. LSPD. Drop it. Alright. I hope that was the actual suspect. Oh, there he is. I haven't really noticed so much of a difference with the blood pod. Get the fuck down. Put your hands where I can see. There's somebody over there. LSPD, don't move. 